So I wanted to talk about exactly what was going on with the uh, bed lift. So I got the idea from the bed lift because one of my friends has an RV that has a bed that can lift all the way to the ceiling. Uh, I looked into the company that makes those. It's like almost $3,000 for that bed lift system. But I really liked the idea of lifting the bed all the way to the ceiling, so I was trying to figure out how to go about doing that. Another option that I might have. So that, that is bright here in Phoenix. The sun is out. Um, so yeah, I was trying to figure out how I can go about making a bed system that lifts the bed all the way to the ceiling without using that item that's a $3,000 bed lift. Um, I'm trying to do this, you know, have this place be really nice and have a lot of luxury options. Uh, but not come with the crazy luxury price. I mean, some of these vans are selling for $200,000. So I started looking up different ways of lifting uh, mechanisms, like hydraulic lifts and stuff, and I came across this company, Progressive Automations, and they have all kinds of different lifts, and one of the things that caught my attention is that they have a lift system that has four different actuators and they've got what's called a Hall effect sensor so you can actually hook all four of them together and then they'll operate at the exact same time so that you have a perfectly level lift system. So I've got uh, four linear actuators from Progressive Automations and now I'm cutting holes in the bench so that I can install these things. Basically how these things work is they are all hooked up to a single remote and then these move vertically all the way up to the ceiling there's actually several variations of mount that you can use and you can make it a little bit more custom to what you exactly need for for your bed system it's actually mounted in that thing ain't going anywhere now i gotta move on to the next two all right Installing the next actuator. This will sit vertical just like that. This here sits between these. And then I gotta insert a cotter pin, screw that down onto here so that it doesn't move around at all. And then retest to make sure this is perfectly vertical and doesn't make contact with the wall. Okay, so I have this controller mounted underneath one of my drawers, and uh, it has a real long cord going to it, uh, so this thing can actually slide out. Uh, but what's nice about this is that it actually has four different presets for height. So right now, it's lowered all the way down as, as low as it goes. All you have to do to program it is just set it to a certain height, press the M, and then basically just hit one of those numbers and it'll automatically set it for whatever height you think is best for your need. So that's about it. Um, installing this was fairly straightforward. You basically, you just figure out exactly where you need to mount it. You put the mounting brackets on the top and bottom. You bolt them down into the floor and then into the bottom of the bed and hook all four in uh, the wires into the Hall Effect sensor, that controller. And then your remote control, you set the presets for, and it's fully functional. You hit a button and everything starts to operate simultaneously.